All this is my fault. My flesh and blood dead because I wouldn't listen. But that's not your concern. Will you go after the Sylvanar next? Jossiger. That's where the Chieftain sent our warriors to lie in wait. If the Sylvanar's held by our clan, he will be there. I'm the Sylvanar, the spiritual advisor to... Why, it's you! Wonderful! Wood Orcs from Jothsiger have captured me, and I don't know why. I'm loath to impose upon your aid yet again, but I have nowhere else to turn. Yes, I remember you. A familiar face is a welcome one in dire times. You see, I'm trapped in Jothsiger, and need assistance to free myself and those captured with me. Thank you. The gods know I could use your help. It's taking all my energy to maintain this projection. The Drablog captured me and my traveling companions. They're holding us prisoner in Juthsaga. I need you to rescue my advisors. They can tell you more about the attack and perhaps help you free me from my prison. I am being weakened by some powerful magic. They won't be much use to you as fighters, but they're very clever. My advisors are my confidants, my bodyguards. They fill multiple roles. We were en route to my wedding with the Green Lady. When the Drublog attacked, they were slain or taken. Two the Drublog used a foul spell to trap me. I've never encountered it before. The same energy prevents anything beyond this Sigic contact. I can't escape without your help. As the Sylvanar, I'm the manifestation of the spiritual strength within every Bosma. But I must join with the Green Lady before my role can be fulfilled. The Drablog attacked my retinue on our way to this ritual. We had no time to ask them why. A warrior. He's my military advisor and a bodyguard. He fought hard during the ambush, but was overwhelmed. If you free him, he can advise you how to battle the Drablog. But I fear he was severely wounded and may not be able to fight. The youngest of my advisors. Ambassador Sariel's visions give guidance when those twice her age see no clear path. She could help you find out how to free me. Please, help us. The Sylvanar's been captured. They want his life energy. If they take it, the Bosma are doomed. He did? You've seen the Sylvanar? Praise Ifrei. They attacked us on the road. Rayan fought the Drawblog ambushers, but they knocked him out cold. I was no help, but I saw everything. The Drawblog shaman chanted words from a ritual book, and energy flowed from the Sylvanar into these giant crystals. The shaman kept chanting as they carried the Sylvanar away, but we were separated from him. Please, we have to get that book and stop the ritual. I didn't see it clearly at the time, but I've had visions of it ever since. It's a ritual of unbinding. I could feel the Sylvanar's energy slipping away, as if he were being drained of his very nature. I've never felt anything so cold or evil. My ears still ring from the clout they gave me. Blasted Drablog took my weapons and Sariel's staff. Where's the Sylvanar? Is he safe? Thank Ifri, he's alive then. We could have beat the Drablog ambushes, but they brought in a creature. Huge. Ugly. Nothing we did hurt it. It wasn't a Drablog. It stank of sulfur. Could have been an Ogrim. Though my experience with such creatures is thankfully limited. Somehow, it kept the Sylvanar from using his power to escape. I couldn't say. I fought back, but the Drablog warriors hit me over the head. Everything went blurry and I woke up here with Sariel. Perhaps she saw more.
Excellent. Now that we have the book, perhaps we have a chance. That's it. The ritual of unbinding. Be careful. The Drawblog used it when they attacked us. The Sylvanar weakened when the Shaman read from it. We keep it out of their hands. And now we've got to find the runestone too. The Shaman used it and the book together. It's a ritual focus. The Drawblog used it against the Sylvanar. Remember I said they drained his energy into crystals? The runestone is the conduit. With it, we can reverse the ritual and give back the energy. There are two Daedric shrines within Jothsugur. We found the book at this one, so I bet the runestone is at the other. The second shrine is on the other side of their fortress. They wouldn't want to make it easy for anyone to recover both items. We need to take the book and the stone somewhere safe so you can examine them. We can't stay out in the open, and the longhouse we were being held in is probably teeming with Drablog. There was another longhouse south of that one. Maybe we could try going there. I understand what needs to be done. Read the book. One of us must die to save the Sylvanar. Frankly, that's a lower price than I expected. Daedric rituals often come at such a cost. Obviously, I should be sacrificed. I'm the weakest of us. When the Drawblog attacked, Rayan fought back while I was captured straight off. I'm an advisor, not a warrior. The Sylvanar needs warriors. If you think I'm a good advisor, listen. Freeing the Sylvanar won't be enough. His power's drained. The Drawblog guarding him won't just let him walk out. Rayan can help you. Use the runestone on me. No! Rayan's good in a fight, but even his skill pales before yours. If you use the runestone on yourself, the Sylvanar will be restored, but weak and in his enemy's hands. Don't throw your life away! According to Sariel, that book says the price of saving the Sylvanar is one of our lives. Good. We should pay for our failure. It's a hard choice, but a simple one. It's my duty to die protecting the Sylvanar. I failed once, so badly I can't fight anymore. The Sylvanar needs advisors like Sariel. I was so helpful till now. No, I've seen you fight. If anyone can get the Sylvanar out of here, it's you. And Sariel. She's young. But wise. The Sylvanar needs such advisors, not near dead warriors. Sacrifice me. Try it, and the last thing you see will be me wresting it from your hands. Sariel and I can't get the Sylvanar out of here. Only you can. Let one of us do what you can't. Don't fail the Sylvanar. Like this! The pain! Ah! 
By the pack, that was horrible. I could feel his spirit energy draining away. I can't believe you chose to sacrifice Rayan, but I won't waste his gift. I'll do whatever I can to rescue the Sylvanar and help you. Earlier, when we were running through the compound, I noticed four rays of light coming from the towers surrounding the main building. I think those are coming from the Binding Stones. We need to disrupt them to stop the ritual. The Rune Stone. When Rayen was sacrificed, it changed into a Rune Key. If you invoke its power against the Binding Stones, you'll sever their connection to the ritual. Sever all four and the energy drain will cease. The Sylvanar will be free, but weak. I can use my visions to get out of Josiga, so you don't have to worry about me. I've also recovered enough energy to invoke my spirit totem. It will follow you until you leave Josiga, aiding you as it can. My totem spirit will fight, but it is most useful in that it can heal your wounds. Just stay close to it and the energy it manifests will help you recover in battle. I wish I could do more to honor Rayan's sacrifice. on the hill. Come on. Good to finally see you with my own eyes. Thank you for rescuing me, but our trials are not over. The Binding Stones affected my connection to the Bosma. I must get back everything they took from me. Give me time. The Drablog and the Houndsmen can't have missed your disruption of the Binding Stones. They'll be here soon, driven by Chief Nargoth. Keep them back while I regain the energy they stole from me. Only then can we leave. Defend me till I've recovered, and we can escape! <laughs>
Houndsman and the Drublog working together to destroy my connection to the land. I can't believe it. Thankfully, you saved me. I agree. I've recovered sufficient magicka to create a portal out of Juthsaga. Are you ready to go? After I teleport out, I'll leave the portal open as long as I can. We'll meet again outside, beyond the reach of the Drublock. Don't wait too long. The portal won't stay up forever, and I wouldn't be surprised if more Drublocks show up down here soon. Events are spiraling out of control. And as the spinners say, we've left the story. Without you, neither I nor my ambassador would have gotten out of Jathsaga. I will be. It seems I can only trust you and my last ambassador. I must get to the town of Sylvanar and the Green Lady quickly. As soon as my magicka returns, we'll be on our way. Yes. With all you did inside Juthsaga, I think the Drablog threat is finished. I can deal with any stragglers who come my way. But I can't wait too long. Dalinir and my other guards sent word that I should get to the city of Sylvanar. I'd like you to come to our wedding. You deserve an invitation. Look for me or Dalinir when you reach town to get it. Besides, I don't think we've heard the last of the Hound. You may encounter his minions along the way, or even in Sylvanar. Now that I'm aware of the danger, I can protect myself and those around me. I won't be caught by the same trick twice. A powerful Hercene worshipper known as the Hound. He wants to usurp my place beside the Green Lady. He's a Bosma. I sense his pain and recognize his anger now. This isn't the first time he's attacked. Stand with me and you'll run afoul of him too. The town of Sylvanar. There, I'll wed the Green Lady and join my spiritual essence with her physical power. It's a ritual that happens once a generation, and it will happen again soon. The Drablog shamans and the traitorous houndsmen conspired to drain my power and sever my ties to the Bosma. They used an ancient Daedric ritual, catching me unprepared. It won't happen again. 